Good morning, everybody. It's so lovely to see you all here so bright and early. Thank you for coming. I'm Margaret Lowe. I'm president of Atlantic Live, the events division of The Atlantic Magazine. Uh, and it's a delight to welcome you to the ABCs of Early Childhood Education. This is an Atlantic politics and policy event where we're going to focus on the country's youngest learners, uh, children five and under. Uh, we all know that Washington remains gridlocked, but across the country there seems to be a surge of bipartisan support for prioritizing early childhood education. There's a push to invest in early learning programs, and it's backed by research highlighting the social, emotional, and cognitive benefits of quality preschool programs. Uh, there are just seven weeks, or less than seven weeks, to go actually to the election. And we're going to spend our time together this morning exploring how this country's leaders are, are tackling the issues. A few notes to get before we get started. We want everybody to be part of the conversation, so we'll be taking questions after each session. Uh, please take a moment to silence your cell phones, but don't put them away because we'd love you to tweet. Uh, we're on Twitter at Atlantic underscore live. You can join the conversation using the hashtag ATLPolitics politics policy. Uh, and it gives me enormous pleasure to thank uh, the people who are making this possible this morning, our underwriter, First Five Years Fund. Uh, and I'm delighted to welcome uh, First Five Years Fund Executive Director uh, Chris Perry. And uh, Chris, would you come up and say a few words? Thank you, Margaret, and thank you all for joining us this morning. I'm Chris Berry, Executive Director of the First Five Years Fund. Today we'll discuss one of the top concerns American voters have during this election. It's not jobs, health care, immigration, or reducing taxes. It's access to quality, affordable early childhood education. The First Five Years Fund works to advocate federal investments, uh, works to advance federal investments in quality early childhood education for low-income children from birth to age five. For the past four years, we've conducted a national bipartisan poll to see whether voters think we as a nation should be doing more for children's education and development before they enter kindergarten. And we've found that they do, with support growing stronger each year. This year's national poll shows that 80% of voters say that ensuring children get a strong start in life through quality early childhood education is a top priority, second only to improving the quality of public education. This overwhelming support is mirrored in separate polling we've conducted in the battleground states of Ohio, North Carolina, Colorado, and Florida. Why? because voters fundamentally believe that early childhood education is essential for success in school and life. Nationally, three quarters say that the first five years of life is the most important time for developing a child's capacity to learn. Yet, they see a critical lack of access to quality programs that will foster that development in children. They also recognize the tragic consequences of that missed opportunity, 68% believe that only half or less of children arrive at kindergarten with the skills they need to learn. The good news is we know when kids have an opportunity to start out ahead, they are more likely to stay ahead. Voters of all political persuasions see this as a solution to a problem that America can and should be solving. In fact, 90% of voters want the next administration in Congress to work together to develop federal policies that help states and local communities increase access to quality early childhood education, no matter who is in office in January. But here's what's most surprising and exciting to us. In the midst of what many see as one of the most divisive and angry elections in recent times, voters by a three to one margin prefer that the next president be someone who focuses on finding solutions to the country's prob problems like early childhood education, as opposed to someone who simply shares voters' anger and frustration with the political system. To me, this is incredibly encouraging, especially given the historic bipartisan track record we've seen on the issue in Washington over the past few years. And at the end of the day, we know that quality early childhood education is an evidence-based time-tested benefit to children and our economy. It's not just the kids who stand to gain from a quality early learning program. 
when we invest in the education and development of our most at-risk children, the return on our investment is enormous through better outcomes in education, health, reduced social spending, and productivity in the workforce. The research is clear, the political demand is overwhelming, and states and communities are ready to do more. That's why I am so excited that the First Five Years Fund is supporting this important discussion today on how to turn the fundamental political and policy opportunity of early childhood education into a meaningful conversation within a new Congress and administration. We're incredibly grateful to have Representative Joaquin Castro of Texas and Representative Buddy Carter of Georgia here to offer some perspective from Capitol Hill. And we're also honored to be joined by two of the nation's top political strategists, Hillary Rosen and Mary Catherine Hamm, who will share what this unprecedented political landscape might mean for our issue. Thank you all for being here, and make sure you visit ffyf.org to learn more about our latest round of polling and what else is coming down the pike on early childhood education in the Beltway. Margaret. Thank you so much, uh, Chris. Now, as Chris says, let the meaningful conversation begin. We're